This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS principles. I'm on unit 3, intro to programming. Lesson 8, creating functions with parameters, part 5. Let's see what we have. I see code, what's it do? Ooh, nothing yet. Okay. Calling functions with multiple parameters. You're about to see a new def definition for draw square that has two parameters. Draw square and then size and border width. Notice how multiple how multiple parameters are separated by commas. Uh, and there it is. Do this. Add to the code to make two calls to the new two parameter version of draw square to make an image similar to this one. All right. So two parameters. Well, honestly, it works just like one parameter. With one parameter, the you pass that to a function, and the function takes the argument and figures out what to do with it. Okay. Well, now we have two. So, larger square, but not as thick. Got it. All right. So, right now, here's our function, our draw square function, and here's the code inside of it. You can kind of peek at the code and see size. So, the size parameter, what's that going to do? That's going to decide how far I go forward. One, two, three, four times. So, that must be, well, the sides, right? So, it's going to create the size of the object. If it changes how much I go forward, Whatever, whenever I call draw square and to tr call a function, remember a function code, that's not going to run unless you ask the computer to run it. So I need to do a function call. I'm going to drop it right here because I'm assuming we're, we need to move to the area for one of the squares first. And what's my function name? Draw square. And then what number do I need? The size. Hmm. Well, I'm not 100% sure how big it was. Did they give us any tips? No, they did not. Okay. So let's say, I don't know, one, oops, 150. Not sure. Then I need a comma to let the computer know, oh, yeah, you're going to get another parameter. And this one represents border width. What does border width change in our function? That is only going to change the pen's width. I'm not, uh, let's try 10. Okay, so what happens now is when I hit run, we put our pin up, we move to this position, and then draw square. The computer says, where's draw square? What's that? Oh, here it is. There's a function called draw square. I'll run that. Size 150. Okay. Border, uh, border must be 10. Got it. Okay, pin down. Got it. Pin width, border width. Border width, uh, 10. They were asking for 10. 10. 10. Got it. Move forward, move forward, size, size, what was size equal to? 150, 150, 150, got it. Turn left. And it runs this whole function grabbing these parameters. Let's see what it does. Oh, mine's too big. Mine's, mine's too big. Let's try 100. I'm not known for my art. Hey, that, that looks reasonable. Although I think that was supposed to be the skinnier one. That doesn't look, that one looks double. Okay, let's try half the size of the square, double the size of the sides. All right, so now we need to, uh, the, we already got it to move to, that code ran, right? Oh, and that's another thing. Once we, our function runs through, when it hits the bottom, it returns to here and keeps running code, right? It just keeps going. It's going to run the other code. You do not stop after a function. It keeps going and runs the code. And the only time a function will run is when we ask it to. So even after it finishes all this code, it's not like it drops down and runs this again. Only if we have a function call will it run the actual function. And now we're going to have another function call. Oh, without a parameter. Darn it. Darn, darn. Alrighty. Move that out of there. Move this in here. And now... The size, I said 50, and then let's go 5, and let's hit reset and run. Oh, no, no, wait, I went double. Oh, we already had it. Is that 20? I went, I'm wondering if it's either 20 or 5 and 10. Let's try 20. Hey, that looks reasonable. Yep. 
I think so. Ta-da! Awesome. Great. Let's uh, keep going.